Avril was trying to factor 6x squared minus 18x plus 12. She found that the greatest common factor of these terms was 6 and made an area model. What is the width of Avril's area model? So pause this video and see if you can figure that out and then we'll work through this together. All right, so there's a couple of ways to think about it. She's trying to factor 6x squared minus 18x plus 12. And she figured out that the greatest common factor was 6. So one way she could, you could think about it is, this could be rewritten as 6 times something else. And to help her think about it, she thought about an area model. Where if you had a rectangle, if you had a rectangle like this, and if the height is 6, and the width, let's just call that width for now. So this is the width right over here. If you multiply 6 times the width, and maybe I could write width right over here, if you multiply 6 times the width, you multiply the height times the width, you're going to get the area. So imagine that the area of this rectangle was our original expression. 6x squared minus 18x plus 12. And that's exactly what's drawn here. Now what's interesting is, is that they broke up the area into three sections. This pink section is the 6x squared, this blue section is the negative 18x, and this peach section is the 12. And of course these aren't drawn to scale because we don't even know how wide each of these are because we don't know what x is, so this is all a little bit abstract, but this is to show that we can break our bigger area into three smaller areas. And what's useful about this is, we could think about the width of each of these sub areas, and then we can add them together to figure out the total width. So what is the width of this pink section right over here? Well, six times what is six x squared? Well, six times x squared is six x squared. So the width here is x squared. Now, what about this blue area? A height of six times what width is equal to negative 18 x? So let's see, if I take six times negative three, I get negative 18, but then I have to multiply it times an x as well to get negative 18 x. So six times negative three x is negative 18 x. And then last but not least, six, our height of six, times what is going to be equal to 12? Well, six times two is equal to 12. So we figured out the widths of each of these subregions, and now we know what the total width is. The total width is going to be our x squared plus our negative three x plus our two. So the width is going to be x squared, and I can just write that as minus three x plus two. So we have answered the question. And you could substitute that back in for this, and you could see if you multiplied six times all of this, if you distributed the six, you would indeed get six x squared minus 18x plus 12.